Today's recipe is toaster naan. For this recipe, we need two cups of all-purpose flour or maida. A cup is approximately 200 grams of flour. I've got half teaspoon baking soda, half teaspoon sugar, half teaspoon salt, two teaspoon baking powder. Now what I've done is for every cup of all-purpose flour, I've used one teaspoon of baking powder. Here I've got three tablespoons of olive oil. You can use any oil uh, of your choice. I've got half cup of yogurt. This is room temperature yogurt and we'll use some water to knead this dough. So let's start making toaster naans. I have placed the maida all-purpose flour in this bowl. Now I'll add in rest of my dry ingredients here i'm adding in first the baking powder salt sugar and baking soda so i'll just mix it like for a second now i'll add in my oil At this time, you add yogurt as well. Half cup of yogurt. Start kneading. We need to make a soft dough for this recipe. When the dough comes together, starts coming together, add water slowly to make a nice soft dough. Scrape the dough from the side to evenly knead it. You can see the dough is soft. Now what we'll do is we'll apply a little oil on the surface of this dough and we let this dough rest in a warm place and I'll cover it and keep it in a warm place and use it after one hour. It's been an hour since this dough is resting can see soft and nice I'll just knead it for another three minutes before we start using this dough this dough is now ready to use after an hour I'll remove this dough from my bowl and place it on my baking sheet. I'm using a baking sheet actually to roll my dough. This dough is perfect. The dough is perfect for the naans. Now I'll just make a part of it and I will roll it out on this baking sheet. If you want to use something as a guide, I've got a six inch bowl which I can use as a guide while rolling my dough out. So we don't want to roll this dough very thin because if you roll it thin, it's good for a roti, a chapati or even a puri. So we want to roll this dough till it's around half an inch in thickness. Also, we need to keep in mind while rolling this dough is that the size of this naan should not be bigger than a slice of bread or exceed 
the slot of the toaster because then there are chances of the naan being raw and uncooked. So first what I'm doing is I am rolling this dough out into a flat bread and I have also heated a griddle also known as a thick bottom tawa on medium flame. So first after rolling this dough out we will cook this slightly on both sides on the griddle that's on the tawa then we we'll go on toasting it Please place some flour on the bottom of this dough to avoid this dough from sticking to your sheet while rolling the dough out. Now I have a nice uh, baking sheet, a baking mat actually, so I can see if I have reached the 6 inch mark because the marks are here on my baking sheet. Now at this point, this is a perfect thickness for my naan. At this point, if you want, you can use a bowl as a guide and just press it around the edges. And you can keep this rolled out dough on the side and keep rolling out more of these into flat bread. And what I'll do is I keep rolling these out and cover it with a cloth and then I'll show you the next step. I've rolled out four naans. Now at this point if you want to just you uh, cook it as is or you can also top it with onion seeds which I have here. You, if you have sesame seeds you can use sesame seeds. If you want you can do chili flakes. The options are many. You can even also, you can also do Italian herbs. So what I do is, with a very light hand, I'll just roll the seeds into my dough. So they just stick to the dough with very light hands. Just light hands. In the meanwhile, heat your griddle to medium flame. Let's place these naans on a griddle. What I aim here is to cook this on both sides so it doesn't remain raw before placing it in the toaster. So we will cook it till this rawness goes away. Let's turn it the other way. So now we are looking to cook the other side as well, a little brown. Let's preheat this toaster like we would preheat an oven. I have marks, uh, numbers on this toaster and my number is currently at 3. So I will wait for this toaster to be preheated and once the toaster pops up then I'll add in these half raw naans. Preheated. Now I'll add in a half cooked naans and we'll toast it till it's done. Always remember to use a silicone pair of tongs. Please do not use metal tongs for safety reasons. So let's wait till the naans are done in the toaster.
you can see the nans are puffing up here sometimes the nans don't puff that's all right because the nans are still cooking in the toaster and they'll be cooked well through and through but you can see how beautifully and amazingly it puffs up here I'll just turn it a bit on this side so it can be evenly puffed up on the other side oops now see I made a mistake so I by mistake made a hole in this naan so you can see the steam escaping but that's fine the naan will still cook well now you can see because I by mistake punctured a hole here you can see that steam escaping now at this point if you want to make it a little more brown you can go in for a second round and you can see always use silicone tongs to remove your naan see how beautifully it's done and I'll just apply some melted butter and serve it with my curry let me show you how these naans have been cooked from inside it's a bit too hot for me to handle right now you can see it's oops it's hot you can see it's cooked so nicely it's cooked it's done well toaster naans are ready to serve please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and also please click the bell icon for notification for my latest videos